Tier 10 British Tank Destroyer, which a lot of people hate, and I don't blame them from hating it either, because... I mean, this tank is a... Uh, it's very RNG, almost like artillery with its Hess shells, because... While these shells do have 275 millimeters of penetration, which, in my opinion, is way too much for a shell that has a potential of 1,800 damage, or 1,750 on average, whatever it is, um, it has shells don't perform well against space armor or tracks, so it's kind of a hit and miss, but I will say... If you have like a T125 and he hits your upper plate, the shot won't penetrate, but it'll still do six, seven hundred damage and will probably kill one of your crew members. Because uh, Hesh just what Hesh is basically is just high explosive with penetration. So obviously, if you penetrate the shell, you will be doing very, very high damage. Uh, I have one hit tier ten mediums this tank, no problem. You know, you get the side of a, uh, you know, like an STB or a E50M and you just slam it in. You have 700, you have 1,750 average damage. That That's on average. So you can roll, you can roll anywhere from, I've actually gotten a 12 damage hit with this on an IS-4. Or you can roll for over 2,000 with this gun so you know it's just it, it literally just makes up the whole scale of damage huh. alright Light tanks are already in. Definitely not going to waste my shell on a light tank, but... Let's go ahead and move up towards these buildings. Definitely want to have some artillery cover. This tank does not do well against artillery, much like the 215B that it's based off doesn't. Yeah, let's move. Not gonna get anything done here. I waited to see if there was any uh, tank destroyers, mediums. They're gonna come down there, but none of them did, so. That's that. Yeah, there's one lone heavy down there, but that's not worth staying there. Let's keep on moving. You don't see me, you don't see me. Ah, oh, yeah. I was hoping he didn't see me, but he did see me. I think isn't great at side scraping, but you can do it. And there you go, 1680 right into the I-7 that screwed me a little bit earlier. And we will. F Ooh, he's a lucky old boy right there. Reverse side scraping is possible in the I-7 and the I-S-4, but you know when you see a 183 get on a different flank that can easily penetrate you, I wouldn't recommend so doing it because obviously he just you know took about 1800 damage from my one shot which is why a lot of players hate this tank and I don't blame them for hating it as I said you know it's pretty pretty devastating to get shot by one of these right. seems like some of the other heavy tanks have already moved um, T124 right there. Hey, all you dumbasses on the right hand side of the map that are just sitting there behind a building, how much you guys fucking move or something? I agree. All the retards. 
Okay. I'm gonna make a risky move, and I say risky because I could be exposing myself to some other uh, very bad tanks, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get behind this T124, and I'm about to plant one right into his ass. God almighty. 1922. Boom, right there. That is the Hesh performance right there. That is Hesh. And we'll ram him to death. So we just we just took out that T-124, the, the a turreted tier 10 American tank short in one, basically one hit. We just gave him a little love tap at the end to make sure he died, but that is that is what Hesh can do. That is exactly what Hesh is good for. If you want to devastate a single target, load the Hesh. And that's why players uh, kind of flock to this tank. I mean, Getting those sort of results uh, reliably is hard because, as I said, Hesh is very RNG. The gun is very trolly. Obviously, they can't make it like a laser point accurate gun, but at point blank range like that on the back of an American tank, oh man, it just, oh, it's just field day. Just field day, man. And their 183 is killing everything, too. Nine thirty-eight, right into the back, and I do carry some AP with me because firing AP in this tank is actually a very good option. It has very high penetration. It has still has excellent average alpha. You know, not a bad choice at all. I just saw a heavy tank running around the middle of the map. I want to know what that was. Uh, he's dead. Let's just keep rolling around the town. I want to find that heavy tank, though. Oh, there he is. Hey, we caught him on the track. And, that, and, and that's exactly what I mean by this, this. these Hesh shells are kind of derpy. If you catch something on the track, you will not. Most of the time, you'll just splash him. And yeah, 577 splash damage on a gun that you can just shoot. You yeah, know, that's pretty nice. But, um, this tank is not a guaranteed one hit. Size 3 just made a massive mistake. He's dead. That 257 Heavy does have one shot left. And you know what? I need to chase him down and kill him. And this is where those AP shells come in handy. Um, I know he's on the reload. And, uh, this shouldn't cost me that much money. That was his last shot. And I can pretty much shoot him wherever I'd like, so. Back to the, uh, back to the good stuff. Back to the Hesh. You know, actually looking at the enemy team, I know that Waffen Traeger's on low health. Yeah, he's dead. The RDs aren't worth any gold shells, so. If you have a 183, pack some AP, you know. It'll save you some money. Still has 310 millimeters of penetration with, uh... I want to say about 1100 average alpha. Could be wrong there. I need to look again, but still plenty of alpha damage to make it useful. And we'll just keep chugging along. And also, the 183 is fairly mobile, as you can see, you know, this medium to hard terrain. We're just rolling around 35 kilometers an hour, very similar to the 215B's top speed. So, you know, it moves. And hey there, get off yourself. Now, we finished with 35,000 credits. This tank, it's, uh, it's very, uh, sometimes it is very lucrative to make a profit in this tank due to those, uh, head shells. The head shells do cost 8,000 a shot, so... If you miss or don't do above about a thousand damage, you might lose some money. But um, we were very careful with our shots and our ammo loadout. So we shot five, we hit five, we pen five. Over six, just over six thousand damage on that. And uh, well, that was just like a perfect 
we just had perfect opportunities there. Tanks weren't paying attention to where uh, I was. We got the back of an E4, which, I mean, look at that. Full damage on him. We hit him for 1,922, and then we just gave him a little love tap to fish to finish him off. So, definitely some fun there in this tank. And look, on that IS-7, we did 2,100 damage with one shot. Just one shot. We hit him, I think, for about 1,800 initially, and then he was on fire. So, And he didn't have a fire extinguisher, which if you don't carry fire extinguishers, you have to be very careful about exposing the back of your tank, especially in a Russian tank. 